Which pet we are going to be breeding? Yes, I'm so excited! Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So, be nice you guys, quit it. So again, of course, we are out here in the pasture with the horses to start. I don't know why you guys, <laughs> here's a reason why I always film right here to start is because the lighting is really good right here. Um, Cause like the sun comes in from directly in front of my face, but kind of gets blocked. There's an overhang right here in front of the horse stalls. And then I have the horses behind me and Trigger's always doing something funny. So it's just like comic relief cause I can see it in the corner of my eye. Um, and then I see it when I play back the video. So it's really funny to me. So yeah, I don't know why I just wanted to tell you guys that, but just so you know, I'm always starting here because this is just best place for me to start. We always have fun visitors like Moosey. Like Moosey, show them your face. <laughs> Why do you always look like this? Why do you always look this way? With your mouth up, looking for chin rubbies. You're so cute. Anyways, you guys, before we get into the video, you know what to do, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, turn on that post notification, and follow me on Instagram at Stephanie Morado if you wanna see more behind the scenes of my life in this video. It is always, always there. <laughs> That makes sense. And you guys, don't forget to get your triggered merch at www.stessfarmfam.com. It is just a pre-order, like I've said before, but that pre-order is getting really, really close to dropping. So I don't know if you guys can tell, I just loosely put this halter on, but come here, buddy. Show me your eye. So I don't know if you guys can see, but his eye is a little red and it's just a little leaky. Like I don't see any mucus or anything like that. So I think he maybe you've just got a little bit of dust in it or something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some like horse saline solution in it just to get anything out, just to make him feel a little bit better. So let's see if he wants me to. So I'm in the stall with him. And this is what I'm using, it's just called Clear Eyes. It's just, again, for horses. It's just like eye drops for horses. Now let's see if he lets me put it in his eye. Oh, there we go. We got some in the eye. Oh, good boy. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Good boy, I'm gonna check the other eye really quick. Other eye looks great. All right, so he did really great with that, better than I thought he was, um, just because I'm by myself right now. So that I thought was gonna be a little bit hard because they're so sensitive around their eyes. Um, but it doesn't seem like anything's like scratched in there when I was just looking at it. I just think maybe he has dust in it or something um, and it's just irritating a bit. Um, so hopefully this works and I'm gonna continue to do this and see how it progresses. Cause I just saw it, um, it's not like he's had this for a while, it just, was, just looks a little bit bloodshot um, at the top, not even anything like too bad, but I'm a concerned pet mom, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. So we actually have a new round bale out and we put it out at like maybe 11 o'clock last night. It was in Mike's truck. So the cows have been munching on it and it's so funny when the cows get, um, the alfalfa blocks like right away because, and they're on it by themselves because usually they're obviously sharing it with the horses but when they're on it by themselves, their bellies get huge and they just act like they can't hardly move. They actually don't like overgorge themselves but it's just funny. Let's see your big belly. <laughs> so if we see just a nice big belly and another big belly. You guys are good boys. But as I said, the horses are in their stalls and they're in their stalls over the night. So they haven't yet got to eat the um, <laughs> the new bale that we just got that's over there. So I'm gonna let them out and let them um, eat the bale. <laughs> you ready to go eat some hay, buddy? See, there you guys can see a little bit better the redness that I was talking about. So I'm at the bale with the horses. So I'm gonna show you what the cows did last night. So basically like just this corner right here, it's kind of funny. So I'll show you, it's usually squared off so they just did that, so they didn't do terribly. And then just some, I see some munches <laughs> on the side, that's a munch, that's a munch, that's a munch. <laughs> and then these guys are putting munches in it already. Munch, munch, it's so funny, I love to watch them eat this. They're little teefers. Oh, they triggers teeves. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, look who it is, the 
it's a peachy kitty. Guys, this is Peach, and you guys all know this, but I often call her Slinky Kitty because she really is such a slinky. I can pick her up <laughs> and do anything with her. She's just a little slinky kitty. Hi, Jojo. Hi, Jojo Bean. Hi, Jojo Bean. She's a pretty girl. Guys, I also want to mention some things. Maybe I guess clear things up, I guess is the right word. Um, Cause a lot of you guys keep asking or saying this same question in the comments. So I just want to answer it for everybody all at once. Cause it's a good question. I understand it. So I want to answer it. <laughs> so a lot of you always um, put in the comments, like I said, about Jolene being in the stall and that she should be out with the horses in the pasture or she should be getting more grass. So that's a really good question because I want um, everyone to understand that I am only able to show a very, very, very small fraction of my life on YouTube um, unless I daily vlogged, which is almost impossible for me because I do have a full-time job. Every day something kind of crazy happens and I show you guys most of the really exciting things. Um, but on the daily we do things every day that you guys don't always see and one of them includes letting Jolene out into the pasture by our house and we do that quite often you guys just don't always see that but I can assure you guys she comes out of the stall um, she has a lot of interaction she's not bored um, because we're always playing with her and the cows always come and see her and she does get her outside time in fact um, around our pasture and it's just much safer for her right now at least to me but um, I'd rather be safe than sorry and let her hang out in the pasture and learn everything in there first and learn her grounds and everything before throwing her into the lions basically so and I will definitely vlog it all for you guys because I want you guys to see every part of it because you guys have been so so involved with Jolene all of her life because literally we got her at two days old but for now you will be just safe my little girl yes you will my cute little girl so I know this is the question you guys want me to answer based on the title of this video is which pet we are going to be breeding yes I'm so excited so Moment of truth, your answer lies right here. We are actually breeding our turkeys. So why I say this, it's because I don't know if you guys can see or if I've actually formally introduced, but I have on my Instagram, again, follow me at Stephanie Morato on Instagram, but this is Miss Petunia. Here she is, she's so pretty and she's a sweet girl. Hi, Petunia. So she is actually a female turkey. So what that means is we are going to be breeding our turkey. So he is a Tom Bourbon Red and he is a Tom Royal Palm. And she's actually a Red Bourbon Hen. So when we got the two turkeys, I wanted one to be a female and I wanted one to be a male because I kind of wanted to cross breed these two just to see um, what their colors would turn out as mixing a red bourbon and a royal palm, but they both ended up being boys. So a friend of mine needed to rehome her female. So this was perfect because this female needed to be rehomed because she doesn't have a male, my friend. And this hen Petunia is in season to breed. So she <laughs> wanted to breed, so she needed Toms. So we have Toms, so here she is. So why I'm actually calling it breeding is because is because turkeys actually go through seasons of breeding so they don't breed all year long like chickens so wild turkeys in the southern states i think actually their season is maybe like february march i'm not exactly 100 percent sure i don't know all of that yet i'm still learning but um and i don't know if it's because they're not wild turkeys is why they're starting to want to breed earlier and when i say they i should say petunia because um the hens kind of initiate that, I think, I don't know. But they kind of have a little call that they'll make and also she'll kind of like flatten her body out. Those are just the telltale signs that I know of. So yes, it is breeding season for our hen, Petunia, that is new. And um, she just laid one egg that may be fertilized. So I just saw it at the corner of my eye, actually. <laughs> I get it, I'm talking about you guys. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually gonna pick that up and if we remember, I had two broody chickens um, hens and I have some exciting news about them so hold on hold on hold on let me go get this egg first petunia lays eggs randomly 
So this one is the one that could possibly be fertilized. Now I wanna show you guys the difference between a turkey egg and a chicken egg. It's not much, but this one's actually kind of small for a petunia, but it's bigger than a chicken egg. So here's the size difference. Chicken egg on the left and turkey egg on the right. So it's pretty big and the turkey egg actually has speckles on it. So this one could possibly be fertilized. So if we remember, I have two broody hens, which is this black Americana, and then my barred rock, who's in this brooder box. So she is sitting on, let's see, an egg. And I'm actually going to put the turkey egg underneath her, but I'll write on it later to see if she will take this because she's broody and see if she will orphan that turkey egg. And hopefully we will have a little turkey baby. Also, I want to show you guys, we had a couple more babies hatch. So this one was our second one that hatched, which I think I showed you guys already. This one was our first that hatched. This one was our third to hatch out of a blue egg. So it's going to be an Americana of some sort or an Easter egg, I'm not sure. And then our last baby, if I can find it anywhere. Where are you, baby? Oh, there it is. This one is my absolute favorite because look at the colors on the face. So cute. And then look at the little feathered feet. For some reason, I think this is going to be a mix of like a Salmon Feverelli and I don't know what else, but the feet remind me of that. But yes, those are all mixes. So I'm excited for them. Look at them. They're so cute. I love the babies. So this mom is taking care of six babies. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Six little babies. And then there are two eggs left, but I don't think these are even viable anymore. I really wanted the green one to hatch, but not this time, maybe. Little babies. So cute. Okay, okay, mama. I think she's telling me to get the heck out of here. I'll leave you and your babies alone. So, yes, we have a whole breeding function going over in our chicken coop. We have chicks hatching, and now our turkeys are wanting to breed, so we are going to be breeding our turkeys, and fingers crossed, so I have heard that breeding turkeys and successfully getting them to hatch is pretty hard, so I'm nervous, I'm excited. I've only seen one egg of hers get laid, so that's probably where it um, becomes hard because they don't lay every day like chickens do, so yeah. So I'm trying to search out and collect all of the possible turkey eggs that I find, and we let them free range during the day, so I may have to search the yard a bit to find more eggs. Hi, Stuart! Stuart and hanging out with the chickens. Stuart, who's a good boy? Oh, who's a good boy? So anyways, you guys, what I was saying is because I just heard a ton of commotion over here, so I ran back here to check on the chickens and they were just being chickens. And of course, if I'm back here, we have to come and see Mr. Stewart and make him roll over. Right, Betty? <laughs> oh, you look at him. He is knocked out already. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Good boy. Good boy. Guys, I wanna start teaching him tricks. I have been trying to teach him to do the spins like Penelope, but if you think that I should vlog teaching him tricks, let me know and I will do so. Because he's such a good boy and he's super smart. He was already starting to figure out the spins a little bit. He's a good boy, yes you are. But anyways you guys, so yes, they're telling me now, we are breeding our turkeys. So that's the pet that we are breeding. I'm super excited, I can't wait for them to hopefully hatch. Um, but I'm still in here with Stuart, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so that I can play with Stuart some more. <laughs> Alright you guys, you know what to do. If you like this video, if you thought it was super cute, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Turn on that post notification for a chance to be my post notification shout out in my next video. And speaking of, today's post notification shout out goes to... Alright you guys, don't forget to get your triggered merch at stephsfarmfam.com. I can't wait to see you all wearing it. This is just the pre-order right now. Alright guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.